Hi, my name is William Higgins with virtualemployeetips.com. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, Windows 8 and the missing start menu, I guess. Uh, actually, there's not really missing. They, they sort of replaced it with this new Metro interface. I've got the Windows website up just to give you kind of an idea. You've probably seen lots of commercials lately uh, with Windows 8 featuring this, what they call live tiles. The idea behind this is these sort of large touch-based, sensitive, uh, touch-friendly I guess uh, squares that in some cases can scroll and kind of uh, move around and show you live information updated from you know the internet or whether it's weather, uh, your friends, Facebook, things like that. Well, the problem is is that it is a big departure from the standard uh, start menu and the way people navigate to uh, run their apps. So today I'm going to show you something called Pokey, and it's an app that essentially replaces the start menu. But it actually kind of does it one or two better. Uh, it does make some stark improvements on what the original start menu used to do. And I was going to show you a little bit about that because I do think that Windows 8 is a good operating system. It's a good step up. Um, I've had uh, good success with it. But at the same time, uh, I'm kind of a, uh, an older person now that feels like I still like to do things the way I was used to or at least ease into it. And uh, the whole uh, Metro interface has been a little bit of a learning curve for me and others. So, so I have actually got my, you know, a portion of my screen up. Obviously, I'm displaying a web browser. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for a minute. But as you can see down here, I have a start menu. Uh, I didn't show you a before screen, but there, this icon right here is the Pokey menu icon, uh, which I can click. And it comes up with a somewhat similar uh, interface, certainly not exactly the same. It is their take on the start menu, and it sort of does add some new and enhanced features. First of all, as you can see, it's sort of by default right now. I have a search um, search bar. I have, uh, and it's also displaying kind of my favorites, which is um, kind of a neat idea, I guess, similar to, you know, pinning something to the start menu. These are going to stay there all the time uh, for quick access. But I can also search for an app right here, which is actually very useful, uh, which is similar to uh, how it was before. I used the search function in Windows 7 a lot. So I could search, um, you know, something for here, you know, Google. I don't know. I don't really have a Google app uh, other than Chrome. So as you can see, it shows me some items here. I can install some apps. You know, Pokey's doing a good job of kind of showing me some things that I can get access to. Uh, but at the same time, it shows apps that are uh, on my computer. And then it also is essentially doing a web search. It's very useful uh, searching in a term. But now I can go ahead and star that, which will now put that back on my favorites. And yes, there it is. So as you can see, and I can drag and drop these around. Um, you know, move them to different places. Uh, but essentially the idea is that now I can have uh, access to some of those apps relatively um, quickly. Um, I can also, you know, go to the Metro Start menu by clicking this button. I also have quick access to my shutdown uh, for restarting or logging off, which was somewhat uh, more cumbersome in Windows 8. Uh, it is showing me kind of my most recent open. I had opened OneNote 2013 a minute ago. So, and then obviously it gives me quick access to kind of my folders, my documents, if you will. Um, my name is Williams. So obviously there's my William folder, documents, music, uh, things like that. Now I can also just click on all apps, which uh, again, I guess similarly would go to sort of all apps in the uh, traditional start menu. I can scroll through here. Obviously, go find something that is not necessarily a favorite or, you know, just like I showed you before, I can access uh, an app and then I can mark it as a, as a favorite. There's also quick access to the control panel, again, which I find very useful. Sort of as a power abuser, I'm constantly kind of going into the control panel. Uh, and something that's really neat is, is, again, you can, you know, since these control panel I, you know, items are programs themselves, you can favorite one of these specific items if you find yourself going into you know something a lot whether it's your you know your sound settings or uh, I don't know if there's something you find that you're going to a lot in the control panel you can obviously um, you know go in there and, and do that you, you know I, I'm showing here that there is some sort of notifications which I haven't really explored yet um, there's also I can go into the uh, pokey settings which gives me a whole uh, list of things a slew of things that I can uh, navigate I had even tried this but there's a, a parent 
apparently a dark theme, which now I'm realizing I like better. So again, you learn something new every day. So ultimately, uh, this is a very nice replacement. It is free. You can download it directly from their website. It integrates very seamlessly. Uh, I can use the uh, start, uh, the start uh, Windows. I'm sorry, the Windows button on my keyboard to open and close that. Uh, which makes it very easy. Obviously, I didn't save my settings before I left, so I'm back to the original uh, theme, the white theme. So anyway, that is, a, you know, in a nutshell, uh, a quick overview of the Pokey Start Menu Replacement. And I'll bring the website kind of back up here. And as you can see, it's just uh, pokki.com. And you can go download that yourself. It is available for Windows 7 and XP as well. It just kind of sits alongside with your traditional Start Menu. Um, so anyway, if you are like me and having or a little frustrated with the uh, Metro interface, you may check it out. That this is a very good option for those of us that are looking for something a little bit more traditional to Windows 7, but yet want to take advantage of some of the new features and stability that we find in Windows 8. So again, my name is William Higgins, and thanks for listening.